क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अ स्टील बार ऑफ अ फाइव एम एम डायमीटर इज हीटेड फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड इट इज फ्री टू एक्सपांड द बार विल बी इंड्यूस ऑप्शन ए कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस ऑप्शन बी शेयर स्ट्रेस ऑप्शन सी टेंसर स्ट्रेस एंड ऑप्शन डी इज नो स्ट्रेस हेयर ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट दैट मीन्स नो एनी स्ट्रेस विल इंड्यूस इन द बार बिकॉज बार इज फ्री टू एक्सपांड इफ बार इज फिक्स एट सपोर्ट एस शोन मी फिगर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू वॉट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ स्ट्रेस एट अ बेस ए ए फॉर द बार शोन इन द फिगर ऑप्शन ए सिक्सटीन पॉइंट सिक्सटी सेवन ऑप्शन बी थर्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री ऑप्शन सी थर्टी एंड ऑप्शन डी इज थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्सटी सिक्स न्यूटम पर एम एम स्क्वेर हेयर ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट दैट मीन्स थर्टी न्यूटम पर एम एम स्क्वेर नाउ एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन द टोटल लोड एट अ बेस ए ए इज द एडिशन ऑफ अ टू वर्टिकल फोर्सेस That means 30 by u plus 50 by u equal to 90. Now stress at the base A A sigma equal to force applied at a section A A divided by cross section area at a section A A equal to 90 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 3000 equal to 30 newton per m s. Question number three: The ratio of a moment of inertia of a circular plate and that of square plate for equal depth is option A 2 pi by 3, option B 3 pi by 16. ऑप्शन सी टू बाय एंड ऑप्शन डी इज पाय बाय फोर हियर ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज थ्री पाय बाय सिक्सटीन दैट मीन्स ऑप्शन बी यम आई ऑफ अ सर्कल इज पाय अपॉन सिक्सटी फोर इंटू डी रेस टू फोर एंड यम आई ऑफ अ स्क्वेर इज डी रेस टू फोर अपॉन ट्वेल्व इफ यू टेक रेशो ऑफ दम एंड सिंप्लीफाई वी विल गेट द आंसर थ्री पाय अपॉन सिक्सटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर अ रिवेटेड जॉइंट in which every rivet of a row is opposite to other rivet of outer row is known as option a chain riveted joint option b parallel riveted joint option c diamond riveted joint and option d is zigzag riveted joint here option a is correct that means chain riveted joint now explanation of this question in chain riveted joint the rows of a rivet lie exactly opposite to each other over straight line in zigzag riveted joint rows are appear staggered and like zigzag line last one is the diamond riveted joint this pattern is generally used for a butt joint here rivet are arranged in a rows which are border at butt ends and uh, tapered out at opposite question number 5 the slenderness ratio is the ratio of option a area of column to least radius of gyration option b length of column to least radius of gyration option c least radius of a gyration to area of column and option d is least radius of a gyration to length of column the answer of this question is option b now explanation of this question the slenderness ratio is the ratio of a length of column to the least radius of a gyration uh, generally slenderness ratio is used to define the length of column if slenderness ratio is less than 50 then column is the short If slenderness ratio is between 50 to 200, then column is intermediate. For long column, slenderness ratio is greater than 200. Generally, long columns are filled by buckling, and short columns are filled by crushing. Question number six. Consider following statements for which SFD is shown in figure. First, concentrated load acting at a point D. Second statement, concentrated load acting at a point V. Third. A uniformly distributed load acting at a portion AB. Which of these statement are correct? Option A, one, two, and three. Option B, one and three. Option C, two and three. Option D, one and two. The answer of this question is option B. That means statement number one and three are correct. Now explanation of this question. In a given SFD at a point A, the line is going to positive side. that means here upward vertical force is acting from point a to c here is a inclined line and making triangle that means here udl is present from point c to d there is a straight line that means no any force acting at a span c to d therefore from the given statements statement number 1 and 3 are correct the corresponding free body diagram is given on the screen question number 7 the unit of a force in si unit system is answer of this question is option a that means newton newton is the si unit of a force and it is equal to 1 kg meter per second square here option b is given watt 
and it is SI unit of a power 1 watt is equal to 1 newton meter per second third option is dyne and dyne is the CGS unit of a pressure the fourth option we have joule and it is unit of a energy question number 8 a tensile test is performed on a steel round bar then its diameter after fracture will be option A remains same option B increases option C decreases and option D is depend upon rate of a loading here option C is correct that means after fracture diameter will be decreased explanation as a result of a tensile load the material stretches and experiences plastic deformation and produce necking and then cup and cone failure occur as shown in figure question number 9 which of the following is correct torsion equation please read these equations here option B is correct that is T by J equal to tau by R equal to G theta by L now explanation of this question torsion is the defined as the resultant movement on any one side of the section about longitudinal or polar axis of the member question number 10 the neutral axis of a beam is subjected to dash dash stress option a minimum tensile stress option b maximum tensile stress option c maximum compressive stress and option d is zero here option d is correct that means beam is subjected to zero stress in given diagram beams are subjected to tensile and compressive stress respectively but the neutral axis is the plane where no any stress is developed thanks for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe this video